The CW's Arrowverse has been on the air for a decade, and its numerous offshoot programs have continued to expand the universe in interesting ways. Even still, the Arrowverse's plethora of series have sparked several issues that have yet to be resolved, years and years after they were first presented. One of them is the franchise's version of Harley Quinn, which was inspired by Cassidy Alexa's appearance as the Queenpin of Crime in an Arrow Season 2 episode. The character's canon status was never formally verified, but due to the most recent episode of Batwoman, we now have the greatest tease yet. The appearance of Kiki Roulette which is played by Judy Reyes, who previously invented devices for Gotham's initial incarnation of the Joker, was a highlight of the episode. Kiki was chased down by Alice and Mary Hamilton in the hopes that she might repair the Joker's joy buzzer so that they could use it on Marquis Jet. Kiki said that she was accustomed to weird things because her therapist was Harleen Quinzel, when Alice and Mary commented on how bizarre the scenario was. After Arrow's cast and crew indicated that their series had grander intentions for the character all the way back in 2014, this is the first definitive mention of Harley in the Arrowverse. While it's unclear whether Batwoman would recognize the persona beyond that, it does give some important world-building for Kiki's arc in the show. While introducing Kiki director Cameras Johnson said, Oh my gosh, it was amazing. What's funny about Kiki is, that was one of the first huge director decisions that I made for the episode. The character was written very differently, she was written to be around like 30 or so, similar to the rest of the cast. I thought that Judy Reyes would play such an incredible Kiki. I was really glad that I got to cast that role because, at first, I didn't know how much we were going to play with Kiki in this episode. When I got the scripts, I was like, oh no. Kiki is vital. I knew that if we had a seasoned, legendary actor that could really come to set and absolutely crush it. If that character wasn't dynamic and interesting and fun and funny and dangerous and surprising us, the episode probably would have fallen through a little bit. So I was so excited to get to go through and cast it myself, and figure out who I wanted to play it. And the actor that I got to play it, I'm such a huge fan of. So the fact that she even said yes made me so happy. She did such an incredible job. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.